Hello everybody, Minecraft is GT Shorty here. Now it looks a bit different to Minecraft, doesn't it? It's because we are going to make our own game. So the program I'm using is called Game Maker 8.1. It's the light version. Because the full version is like 70 quid. To be honest, I really, I'm not that good. So, yeah, we're going to be making a game. Not one of these rubbishy tutorial games. We're going to make a, a 2D game. Just a sort of portal game, I think. So, um, I'm just going to be showing you the basics, really. First things first, you need sprites. These are your sort of object things. So, I'll have a look at this. Um, so you can either load the sprites or you can make them. So you can either make your own, or there's a load of uh, files that you can. Uh, there's a load of sprite files, basically. I could actually just find care found them. So I thought for our main thing we could either have a sort of block from here, maybe a skeleton or a rock. Or we could have I thought what would be good is to be a sort of ball. Pretty cool. But then um again you want your sprite to be the right size, so you want it to be one block. So uh 32 by 32, that's that's the size of one block, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm not even sure. <laughs> I've totally forgotten. I actually, I'll just save this, and then um, I'll call it Portal. And I'll open one of my other games. Uh, I think the best one is... Whoa. Um, uh, I think it's this one. I can't actually remember. Yeah, I spent ages doing this. It's sort of a bit dodgy. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. But yeah, it's it's sort of a bit rubbishy. But I do know this for a fact that the apple is one so that is thirty two by thirty two. So yeah, it's um we find the right size, so it should be good. Portal. Uh oops. Ah, okay. So yeah, now I've got our player. Now we want to make the player an object. So you have to do this, let's call it player again. And then you have to select a sprite. So the sprite is basically just what it's going to look like. And then now we've got our object, but we want it to do some stuff. We don't just want it there. So you have to click Add Event. And then we want to sort of um, we want to make it move, obviously. So I'm going to click Key Press, and then the up arrow. And then what it will do is under this Move, you have to drag and drop. And then this is basically going to move it. So we want it up at a speed of, uh, let's call it 2, uh, self, yeah, okay, and now we do that, keep doing that until we've uh, done all of them, and then obviously we don't want it so that when you press the key, oops, uh, you can never stop. Because that'll be kind of bad. In fact, that'll be awful if you can never stop. So what we're gonna do now is add an event, key release, up, and then still the move one, but it'll stop at obviously no speed. And then that then applies to everything. So stop. Uh up. Oh, oh we just did that. Right. Stop. And then down. So that has basically just made our thing move around on the arrow keys. So now if we create a room for our oh god which one is this one? Now if we make a room our first level, so let's call the level for uh, settings call it level one. We might make another one. This is sort of a 
you can change the background and stuff, but I never bother with that. I don't know why. And then we can add our object. Basically, to do that, you uh, click objects and then click the object you want. And then, so now I've added our object. So now, if we close the run, yes, and then start the game. Then there's our little football. Press the arrow keys. You'll move around. Now it is quite slow, but you know. And by the way, to come out of your game, easiest way is to just press escape. Um. So yeah, but it's a bit useless having nothing. So what we want is we want the walls, because if you can just fly out of the game, it's a bit bad. So we're gonna make some walls, and this is fairly easy to make. Is we just want one block, then we want it double click by the way. We just literally want it to fill in uh let's have it sort of greyish colour. That'll do. Okay. And now we've got our wall. Oh uh, yep. Now we make an object walls and then choose the sprite for walls and then Basically, pretty much it. And then we go back onto the player object, but now we add another event and collision with the wall, and then it will force it to stop. Okay, so now if we go back onto our to our land and we choose the wall. By the way, if you um click and hold, then it will pull it down. Oh, the background is not. Uh, we need to change the background color because it's the same color as our walls. Uh, let's have a white actually. There, there you go. Oh god. Yeah, the wall. Okay, that's better. Okay, sorry. It's shift, hold down, left click to place it more than once. And now we're moving it across. So hopefully, he says we should now not be allowed to go outside the walls. You know we can't. So that's kind of quite good, really. Oh, by the way, that thing in the background is my desktop. <laughs> I don't know what a desktop looks like. Um. So now we've got our walls and our player. We want something that the player can uh, get to then move to the next level so we'll make it like a sort of coin actually it'll be the portal won't it so I think we're going to make this one one block zoom in a bit we're just going to draw a giant circle I think the top left hand corner if you hold down shift it'll draw a perfect circle Okay, now I can fill this circle in. Let's take it yellow and the outside. Let's have the outside green. Oh god, I forgot you have to do this. Undo. You know what, let's just uh. Oh god. We will have to do this sometime, but. Uh, I wish you didn't get an outline on the circle. So you wouldn't have to be so careful when you did this. God. So, yeah, basically the events that oh god, the events that will add to this basically mean that when the player touches it, it will then move to the next room. Uh, okay, so we done, done, okay. Now the portal portal add an event oh let's do it uh, on the player add an event collision with the portal now I uh, can't remember how to do this oh yes yeah, this one and we want it to move to the next room uh, yeah the next room along the list basically we can have a transition if we really want to. We'll just do fade for now. Okay. So now if we make another room, 
and call it level two. And then we put ourselves in it. Just put ourselves right there. Okay. And now in level one, we put a portal here. Now I'm hoping this will work. Now if we start the game, you can hit F5 if you really want to. So now move across. I might increase the speed off camera because it is pretty slow. We have moved to the next level. That is pretty cool. So if we move ourselves, we actually right click, delete, and then if we move ourselves like to the start there in both rooms. Um, player there. So that's the basics. And um, I think what we'll do is we'll add some sort of objects. So um, obstacle. And then we'll, uh, should we make a new one? No. Let's have um, let's load one. Uh, do we need these? Oh my god, look at all this complicated stuff. <laughs> no. Um. Oh god, it's not in the uh, small icons. No. That's better. Okay. Uh. Maze platform. Oh, there's a bomb. A boulder. Yeah, there's a boulder. Okay, that is 32. Now we can make an object. Call it. Uh, obstacle, and then we go to the player again. Add another event. Yeah, your main character gets a lot of events. Add collision with the obstacle, and then what we want is we want it to move. We want it to restart the room. Let's have a different effect. So. Uh, push from top. Okay. So now in level one, let's put some obstacles. Let's put them here. So you have to go down there. Okay. Now hit F5. Start playing our game. Now I'm just going to show you what does happen if you hit an obstacle. Hopefully, yeah, you restart the room. That's pretty cool. I think we can uh, end our first episode here and next episode I think we will yeah we'll start making our levels and yeah I'll see you next time thanks for watching like favorite subscribe if you want to see more hopefully I'll be doing a series yeah and our game is gonna be epic goodbye